we're getting into a what i eat in a day video and you're gonna have to forgive me because i am like seven days out from my move and i already started packing things up and i'm trying to clear out the things that i have in my fridge and in my freezer so i'm trying to be very resourceful so i'm not sure how this is gonna go but i'm gonna be using everything and i mean everything that I have in my fridge, my pantry, my freezer over the course of the day. I'm probably gonna film a few of these because I'm so limited to the equipment that I have access to right now as I'm literally, like I said, moving in like seven days. But yeah, so this is gonna be very, very interesting. Oh my goodness, where are my manners? Good morning, hi guys, I'm Re. welcome back to my channel. If you are new, baby, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again back to it okay so I got lucky this morning okay I had like my regular breakfast essentials which was perfect and I decided to make a breakfast pizza which I'm going to show you guys momentarily I don't know why just like where my mind just went right now but like anyway let's chalk it up to the fact that I haven't had my coffee yet also I will be providing you guys with my recipes down below in the description you guys know the drill also forgive the appearance I literally like woke up an hour ago and I've just been like running around my house but now I'm hungry and I'm like you know what this is the perfect time to make breakfast it's also wash day so forgive the hair I hopefully 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 by the end of this video we look a little bit better I don't really know what to tell you this is just kind of what my life has been but anyways I will also be including my macros for you guys because I know that you guys are interested in that the only thing that you will not see macros for is my coffee because I don't count it coffee is the one thing that i allow myself to just enjoy the way i want to enjoy it because it's just the little things in life okay if i want to add a little bit of extra creamer that's my business okay but yeah other than that i will share with you guys the macros if you guys are triggered by that know that that is not my intention so what i will do is put them at the very end of each meal that i make you can even check it in the little what are they called? Timestamps. why am i like i had a i'm like having a brain fart right now this is crazy i will have it linked I will have it specifically placed in the timestamp. So if you see it, you can just skip over that part and move to the next because baby, that's not what we wanna do. I just know that a lot of you guys are very interested in my macros before I continue, okay? Read my disclaimer, okay? Pause the screen and read it and read it carefully because I am not a professional and I am not telling you that these are the exact portions that you need to be eating. These are the exact foods, methods, strategies that you need to be doing. I am just showing you, okay? I'm just showing you what I eat, which works best for my body, what I might eat might not work for you. So that's why I'm usually really hesitant to put the macros in there because like, I feel like our bodies need different things. There's only one Rihanna and there are methods specifically that work for me and there's only one you and your body is unique. And so I can't get up here and tell you that you need to be eating the same way I do. You need to be eating the same amount. Sometimes you might have to increase. Sometimes you might have to decrease. I just want to let you know in all of this, I'm not forcing that on you at all. Also, just be kind to your body. If you're hungry, eat. Food is fuel. Food is your friend. It just, you know, gets a little complicated when you go to like eat when you're feeling like down because I'm, I'm a stress eater too, okay? I am that person and moving is a stressful process. So I'm really trying to make sure that I'm holding myself accountable. I have had my binging under control for a while now. And so I just want to make sure that I keep up with that because... Nobody wants to binge. Nobody wants to feel so full that you're like uncomfortable. Like nobody wants that. Anyway, yeah, so this has been a long enough intro for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I made breakfast and yeah, that's it. <laughs>
not come back on here before lunch. I don't know what I was thinking, but we had lunch and the salad was so good. It's easily probably my new favorite salad. So quick and easy. And I didn't even miss the fact that I didn't have meat on it. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I think it was probably like the parsley. Something in it just was like, I want to eat it every day. So it's probably going to be the same salad that I eat every single day now but it is much 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 later it's like 10 o'clock borderline 10 o'clock it's like 9 30. i'm not super hungry um so i'm gonna make just a little something i didn't meet my macro requirement thus far so i'm gonna make a little salmon like a sriracha salmon bowl with a little bit of rice and veggies and then um i'll just end the night off with a little protein shake because i'm really not starving i just feel like i've had a long day so it's just like uh you know sometimes my eating habits kind of get poor sometimes i I eat more sometimes I eat less it just depends on how your body is feeling and now I've spoken to my nutritionist and she's like if you're not hungry don't force it but I know myself <laughs> and it's important that you know yourself too because I know that if I severely under eat today I will want to binge tomorrow so I'm just gonna have something light something small nothing too crazy just a little salmon bowl with some veggies I am looking forward to my protein shake though because it's my little fix of chocolate for the day yeah this is really it this was kind of like a boring one not the food the food was good but like I didn't really interact with you guys just moving is just a lot okay it's it's a lot of work um and when you still have other responsibilities going on it's just like you're being pulled in every which direction it's a lot but let's go ahead make some dinner and then we'll close out for the night last full meal that I'm gonna be having today. I didn't have any snacks today because I'm really trying to focus on not reducing the amount of snacks that I have, but really being intentional with the foods that I'm putting in my body when it's actually time to eat during breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That way I don't really have to snack as much. So I've been really trying to find high volume, lower calorie alternatives or high protein snacks that are gonna keep me fuller longer. The breakfast pizza literally does that for me every single time. The only reason I made that salad today for lunch is because I had a few errands to run and I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it back in time before a meeting that I had to like make lunch so I made it made sure that I was good but honestly like I haven't been hungry hungry all day which is really good so that's why I haven't had any snacks but catch me in the next one with the snacks because I just have a few snack ideas and I kind of want to test them out with you guys so yeah I'm gonna go ahead have this salmon bowl there's a ton of cucumbers in this like it's just mostly cucumbers but that's okay I'm okay with that I'm gonna go ahead have my dinner and then I'll be back if I find another snack in there I'll find it but if not it's most likely just gonna be my last Owen chocolate protein shake and I'm sad that it's my last one because I'm not ordering any more before my move so yeah all right let me have this and we'll chat all right so it's literally bedtime and I barely finished that bowl I just like really wasn't feeling food but it was really really good so I just like wrapped it up and I saved the rest of it for tomorrow but it's time for my favorite part of the day which is my chocolate protein shake you guys know that I love the Owen protein shakes in the flavor dark chocolate there are 20 grams of protein, five net carbs, three grams of fiber, and um, there's something else. Oh, it's 100% plant-based. <laughs> That's the other thing. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and have this. And then here are my total macros for the day. I didn't quite reach my goal, but that's okay. It's, um, it's a process. This is definitely a journey, but I'm gonna leave you guys off with this. Again, please be sure to check the recipes down below in the description box. I'm gonna leave you guys off. Have a wonderful evening or 
morning whatever time you're watching this it's definitely nighttime for me it's like 11 30 at night so your girl's about to check out but if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and share also be sure to turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video and until next time babes i'll see you on my next mm -hmm.